It's the most anticipated night in the world of entertainment. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> An award show for the people, by the people. A night when the finest series and films will take center stage. We have a stage? Do, do we? This one. Coming to you live from the Andrews Basement Performing Arts Center in Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama. It's the 2024 Spoily Awards. Woo! Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Spoilers Intended, a podcast about series and films. I'm Ryan, joined as always by Maverick, apparently. Oh, hello. Or Andrew. And I Steven. Have a good Tom Cruise impression. Hi there. Yeah, you should have done a, I don't know. You need to work on you? that. Just jump up and <laughs> jump, jump, jump on the that. chair. Jump up and down the chair. <laughs> Uh, and this is the 2024 Spoily Awards, Woo! where we asked the you. The first annual. The first. First, yeah. first in the annual. Yes. I don't, is that first annual. First is annual. How you say, yes. <laughs> first and annual. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it will uh, be annual. Uh, we asked you to vote on the best movies and TV sure shows did. reviewed on our podcast so that we could honor the outstanding achievements that have graced our screens. Honestly, we've had some really like, good we, stuff. This we went year. through the nominations yeah. and prior to this, I would have said, boy, 2023 was a rough year. And we started going through this, man, we watched some good stuff. Yeah. yeah Cause like, you know, you get through like the end of the year mm -hmm. and you're like, what did I even watch this year? And then like, as we went back and did like our nominations for this yeah. and everything, I'm like, wow, we actually watched some really good stuff. Right, we watched no, yeah. some bangers. Yeah. All right, so as with everything we do, this episode is brought to you by the kind and generous support of our extremely smart and very attractive patrons. Yes, Stephen, Thank you so much. Incredibly attractive. Let Let's talk about you. our patrons. Let's talk about our patrons. So we want to give a very special shout out to all of you who have supported the show throughout the years. They are Daniel, Finn, T. McCaleb, Jason, Mark, Travis, Andy, Taylor, Grant, Robert, Sue, Holly, Ken, Baron, Nick, Brian, Christian, Brad, Colin, Andrew, Ethan, <laughs> T-Mac, <laughs> Ryan, Nick again, different Nick. <laughs> Nick, Nick with the C, Nick yeah. with the C, I don't know. <laughs> Lady Palatina, Scott, Tendall, Matthew, and Allison. Huge yes. thank you. Huge thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Massive. You have no idea. You, how do you much see you this do. nice and wrinkly? Uh, oh, you bought this. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't actually buy this. We didn't. No, no. I've had this for years, and it's this, been sitting uh, in a. This. Yeah, you bought this. Yeah, this is what you actually purchased. Yeah, among other things, like the buzzers. We don't have the buzzers here. Oh, we should have brought the <laughs> buzzers out. We don't need the buzzers <laughs> we, in this echoey roof. <laughs> we actually didn't need that kind of chaos here. That but yes, the buzzers yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with our first award, shall okay. we? Okay. Sure. Okay. The first up, we have the Heavy Lifting Award. This is an actor or actress that carried a lesser movie or series on their back. Our nominees are Tim Curry for Clue, Jason Momoa for Fast X, Ray Stevenson for Ahsoka, and Daniel Craig for Glass Onion. Yeah, so whenever we got these... <laughs> like, our tiny envelope? I, I oh didn't realize that these were very small envelopes. I thought we were going to have like, like a big one. If you're just listening on the podcast feed, you should check out the YouTube video so you can see how tiny the envelopes <laughs> we actually ordered. Just, I'd just like to point out, the link was sent to both of you. You both looked at this and said, yeah, that's good. I said, gold envelopes looks great to me. <laughs> I didn't uh, know they were <laughs> literal. Like, <laughs> all right. Anyways. Envelopes for ants. All right. all right. And the heavy lifting award goes to... Yeah. Don't, don't do a drum roll like that. Okay. Ray Stevenson from Ahsoka. Hey, Ooh, all right. I mean, to be fair, I think he definitely did the most. He, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think all four nominees had a strong case. I mean, Momoa for sure. Like, I, think, I, I mean, feel like yeah, he really dragged. He, as fast as he worked yeah, something. hard for that one. I think Tim Curry uh, mm -hmm. probably had the least amount of work to do. Well, yeah. there were there were other people that were good in that movie, mm -hmm. yeah. but, but Tim Curry makes Clue. He right. does. He right. makes we, it, but like the concept of the movie was solid to begin yeah. with, right? Exactly. Whereas Ahsoka has some questionable moments, and you're like, oh, thankfully we're looking at serious man. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but now. like Balen Skull did a fa like he's just a great character, and Ray Stevenson really brought him to life. Also, yeah. we're really gonna miss Ray Stevenson. Yeah, yeah. it's oh, yeah, it's, for sure. It's That's very sad at his passing. Horrible. Yes. All right. Next up. Who wants to read that, Andrew? You we got have it? Talk to the Hand, which is the best fight scene. It can be hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, swords, lightsabers, improvised weapons, etc. Yeah. So we have the Mall Brawl from Police Story. We have Ramona Flowers versus Roxy Richter in Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Ip Man versus the Karate Black Belts, 10 of them uh, in Ip Man. <laughs> For those be, counting. Gotta home. be specific yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> the Bathroom Brawl in Mission Impossible Fallout. Reload those arms. Uh, oh, so Ahsoka good. versus Balin in also Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. And then Shulin. Uh, Shulin, yeah. I always get that wrong. Shulin versus Yen 
in Crashing Tiger Hidden Dragon. Yeah. All right. So and the, the winner, winner is... I'm just going to rip this like a savage. <laughs> <laughs> See, I opened mine up perfectly no, fine. No, I'm ripping this like a savage. The winner is the Mall Brawl from Police Story. Oh, wow. That That's is, actually pretty awesome. That, is that really is. Pretty unexpected, <laughs> I'm uh, not going to lie. That, so... Who I actually figured Ip Man versus Karate Black Belt was going to win. Uh, I I honestly I, I did too. Thought actually, that the bathroom brawl or Ahsoka versus Balin. Mm, yeah, just, but just the mall like brawl the you most. can't mess with the no, mall well, brawl. No, well, because it's I mean it's basically like twenty minutes of just stuntmen beating the snot out oh, of each yeah. other. It is an and incredible Cole and Jackie sequence. Chan, who is also his own stuntman. Right. <laughs> and also, and also Jackie Chan was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it ends with that huge, you know, the pole slide. Oh, the crazy oh yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. But there's so much broken glass. And in our episode, we mentioned that the glass was double thick. Um, mm-hmm. To make it look. Yeah, like what's it called? Like sugar glass, glass or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So. Cause, it caused a lot of uh, injuries on set. Yeah. Among other things. Let's take a minute real quick just to point out our lovely shirts. Oh, yeah. We so, didn't mention those. Yeah, we do have our We had, you know, to, get our t-shirt up. We had to get dressed up for yes. the occasion. Yeah. Again, and if you're listening dr- at home on the dressed up. Dressed podcast up. audio version, check out the YouTube because... Uh, you got to see. Andrew also decided that the lights were too bright. Well, hey, look, I had LASIK <laughs> done on my eyes, uh, and there are uh, bright lights happening here. You should be used to lasers flying into your eyes. You, you don't know where I'm looking at. I could be looking over here. <laughs> over there. I could be looking in another room. <laughs> Wait, that's looking not, behind that's me. Not, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's All right. next? So moving on to the next category, we have The Heat on My Face. This is the award for the best action sequence, and our nominees are The Tank Chase <laughs> from Gold Goldeneye, the Dragon's Breath fight in John Wick 4. Very good. Motorcycle Insanity from Jawan. Definitely. The yeah. Prison Escape from RRR. Mm-hmm. And final nominee is Bank Heist Getaway Shootout in Heat. Oh, that's well, a good if, shootout. There's some good scenes I mean, in this one. Okay, so, oh man, I don't know. Well, let's, let's, well, see, let's the just see who the winner is. Yeah. <laughs> see, he all opened right. it fine. I'm going to savage all of these. I'm going <laughs> to open that for my teeth. Oh, wow. The winner is the Bank Heist Getaway Shootout from Heat. That is incredibly Got some fellow Heat heads out there. All right. (laughs) Don't don't ever call them that again. (laughs) Heat heads. I mean, to be fair, it's a fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, again. I kind of thought the tank chase from Goldeneye would win this, honestly. I mean, such an iconic thing. Dragon's Breath fight. Like, these are just. Honestly, all of them are really good. I wanted Jawan, the motorcycle chaos, to to win. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but like heat is also like very near and dear. I, I would have assumed Goldeneye had this in the bag. Really? Just because it's just, probably the just most it's, watched it's out of all of these. Insane, well, it's also such an insane sequence. I mean, honestly. that is true. Like probably most everyone that has listened to the podcast has definitely watched I mean, Goldeneye. Let's be honest. Most of life. our listeners are of the age that they probably saw it in theaters. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Their dads did. What's up, oh. Gen Z? <laughs> Get out of here, old man. <laughs> no cap. All right, next up, we got Side Splitter. This is the best intentionally or unintentionally funny scene. So we got the Melting Bard from D&D <laughs> Hat, Classic. which is Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. We'll say the full name the first time. From here on out, D&D, D&D Hat. D&D Hat, yeah. Uh, the Children's Play from the Adams Family, <laughs> which always <laughs> makes me laugh. Uh, the Milking Machine from Teenage Mutant Ninja <laughs> this Turtles. One, this one kills me. Uh, Mutant Mayhem. Uh, the my daughter scene from Jawan, also which was me. just great. Well, that was it. Was, it was just such a, a random moment, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. just dropped in there. And then the convertible car wreck from Susan May. Okay, All so right. here we go. Who the is our winner? Splitter. Who's our I, winner? I have a feeling I know who this is. Oh yeah, uh, the melting bard by Dungeons and Dragons hat. That that is absolutely deserved. Yeah, there, yeah. There's no way that that doesn't <laughs> just, win. I think in this, just an amazing. Yeah. I'm honestly. <laughs> D and D hat was an amazing film that deserved far more than it got, both at the box office and critically. I mean, you yeah. never know. I mean, like it's going to have, I bet we're still going to get a, I hope we get um, a sequel. I think I hope talk so. of a possible TV show at some point. I just want a sequel. Well, I, yeah. Like if we get another one, it's okay for them to just recast the whole. It's just cast. another, yeah, it's just another party. party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it just, I think the, the issue with getting the same exact people back was they shot that, I think pre pandemic mm-hmm. and then it got delayed like a bunch yeah. of times. Yeah. So like everyone's moved on assuming that that wouldn't well, be a yeah, franchise. And, it, and it's been, you know, six years almost well, yeah. I mean, when so, this started. Supposedly Chris Pine still plays D and D with his family like, all the time. Like he's a huge, big fan. I'm so, sure I mean, be I'd down love for to it. bring him yeah. in. Yeah. If, even if they do get a new core group, it'd be nice to have like, cameos from. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like they're just in the background they, doing they, their they're, own they're thing. They're in the tavern <laughs> setting up the adventure. And he's in the background just playing. They, they yeah. just show up in the same dungeon that the new part 
parties in. <laughs> yeah, hey, how are y'all doing? Qu- yeah. Questing for the same item. <laughs> yeah, right. That would be fun. All right, next up, we got score of the score. All right, score of the score, best overall musical score. This is one of my favorite categories just because I love music. So we have... <laughs> Nerd, Opp- confirm music file. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oppenheimer, The Boy and the Heron, Interstellar, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Suzume and Gladiator. A lot of All good, a lot of good options there. Yes. Savage this thing open here. Oh, not as good. Yeah, as you just opened it up just fine. Uh, you can do it. It's possible. Start just biting it with your teeth. Just <laughs> so uh, the winner is mm-hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark and oh. Interstellar. We have a tie. a tie. Okay. Wow. That is actually shot. We had a pretty good number of votes on this. I'm actually really impressed. That we had a tie. Uh, so the note here also says they tied. Each getting 34% of the vote. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That is unexpected? I, th- it is unexpected. Yeah. I was probably going to say Oppenheimer was going to win it. I would have thought, honestly, Oppenheimer. I could see Oppenheimer, Gladiator taking yeah, it. That Interstellar is I mean, killing now, to be, I mean, Raiders of the Lost Ark is It's iconic. Class. So yeah. I think what you Truly got here iconic. is you got like a really good modern movie and then like an iconic, yeah. you know, yeah. classic movie. I mean, it's a good mix here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All righty. So next up, keeping with the music themes, we have the best banger. <laughs> this is the best individual song from a soundtrack. And the nominees were Natu Natu from RRR. So good. F- oh, banger. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> easy, oh steer, oh, easy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so it just brings it out of me. Like I said. <laughs> I was just sitting here looking right at them with their suspenders, man. Uh, <laughs> He got all hot and bothered. He couldn't handle it. We've got I'm Just Ken from the Barbie movie. The season one opening of Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. Yeah. The season two outro from Mobile Suit Gundam, so The good. Witch from Mercury. We argued, Brian and I both argued hard for both of us because the, the outro is a banger. And finally, American Prometheus from Oppenheimer. All right. Let's see who the winner is. And the winner is... It's another tie. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, this is between I'm Just Ken and Natu Natu from RRR. Oh, uh, that's so deserving, though. Both with 34.6% of the votes. Wow. Wow. Let's Two ties already. I mean, yeah, I think Natu Natu for me. I, honestly, like, Natu Natu felt like a slam dunk, mm-hmm. but I'm Just Ken was also really... So I was really conflicted when I was making my voting. To me, it's like... I'm just Ken got a bigger laugh out of me, obviously in the theater. It's a bigger just, reaction. Oh, yeah, it's absurd. Yeah. But not to, not to, I listen to on Spotify. Yeah, I like don't listen to I'm just yeah, Ken. Yeah, I haven't listened to I'm just Ken. No, it, to me, it exists in the movie and it's great, mm-hmm. but the, out of context, like, yeah, but where not to, not to is like, like you can just listen to it. It yeah, just comes yeah, up on yeah, our, yeah. our playlist. It's like, yeah, let's yep. go. All right. Next up, we're going to do, I'm not crying. There's something in my eye. The best <laughs> tug at your heartstrings moment. So we got not yet guardians of the galaxy oh. volume three. It's a tough scene. Just the whole film. Uh, long, long time, which is season one, episode three of The Last of Us. We have awesome. Old Lady Bakes Her a Cake from Kiki's Delivery Service. That one got always, me always pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Barry tells his mom goodbye in The Flash. Man, at that, like the, the end of this film is like, is this film going to make me cry, really? <laughs> Probably the best part of the movie, if I'm being honest. Uh, Holga was mom all along from D&D Hat. Solid. And 20 years of messages from Interstellar, so this which is, just gets me every time, too. Yeah, so this is the actual reason why I'm wearing sunglasses oh, right now. So, so you can't, can't see me cry. He's been crying the entire <laughs> the episode. Whole, the whole, the whole episode. episode. Just for this moment. Just for this right one. Here. Put a camera on that boy. He just starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the winner is Not Yet from Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Wow. I actually didn't expect that. I, I would That's not a have pretty been powerful shocked. scene. It is. I, yeah, I wouldn't have been shocked to see other winners. Uh, I will, you know, because I'm looking at my list right now. I definitely right. voted for Not Yet. Oh, I I voted for... Um, I think I did Last of Us. Last is what of I voted. Us. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. man, that whole movie was pretty crushing. It, it was, was. Yeah. But it just made me angry. <laughs> I mean, yes, sure, for good sure. reason. For good yeah. reason. I mean, that's kind of what it's supposed to do, right? Yeah. If yeah, you're not mad so. about animal cruelty, uh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. there's some well, other we problems. We got bigger issues. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What up? What's up? All next? right. Um, what up, dog? No. no. Uh, what up, dr- Andrew? What we got next? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. Oh, no. Please yeah. No. Nope. No. <laughs> Um, dripping like a faucet like all three of us right now yeah Uh, best costume slash outfit so we have the fur coat no shirt from Ken from Barbie it's a good look suspenders and slacks from Raju and RRR another hot look coronation outfit from Josephine and Napoleon another hot look spicy 
Balen Skull and Shin Hati from Ahsoka. They have just really fly oh, armor oh, and such cloaks a good look. and stuff. Then we yeah. have the white suit from Admiral Garp in One Piece live action. Also what an awesome outfit. But especially yeah. when you put the bulldog hat on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to count the bulldog hat. <laughs> and we have the quintessential... White armor from Commodus and Gladiator. Yeah. Yeah, man. That Such was, a good... Some really good looks here. Yeah. I had a hard time with this vote. I don't this even one, remember who I voted this for. This one was actually pretty tough because I really like Commodus. Like, he it's just... Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Really, yeah. I will say, I heard from several voters that they had mm-hmm. a difficult time throughout this that we gave them some tough choices, which I'm happy for. Well, good. Yeah. That means we recorded good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Amidst everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, the winner of Dripping Like a Faucet is... Not a tie. Not a tie. <laughs> Not a tie. Fur coat, no shirt. Ken from Barbie. It's kind of expected. Yeah, it makes I, sense. I mean, it's, it's on everybody's mind right now. It's also a really good look. The double it is, sunglasses. The double sunglasses. You could have had double sunglasses. I could. I have let, multiple sunglasses You are upstairs. letting us down. Come on. Think of the we should have thought ahead. You could have worn the, the Ray-Bans that record as your second set and then recorded behind the scenes. I sold those. While we're doing, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I sold those. <laughs> Alrighty, moving forward. The next category is It's All Real. This is the best use of practical effects. Yeah. An okay. Underrated thing in cinema these days. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I think it's, a lot I think, of general audiences probably don't realize what they're seeing is practical it's, versus. It's incredibly appreciated when you see it now. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. especially if you're like, if you listen to a review podcast that. Hearts cares about things. those things. Like this one that we're in the middle of. Oh, we're right doing it right there. there. It's weird how that works Go out. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> so the nominees were Oppenheimer, mm-hmm. Grand Budapest Hotel. Great use of miniatures. So oh, so yeah. good. The Last of Us. Also great use the of The clickers were yeah. crazy. Oh, some crazy stuff there. 1917. Just the, the whole, the whole, the whole, yeah, the whole really, movie. Just the whole movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1990. They're yeah. doing roundhouse kicks and And 40 pounds suits. of rubber suits. <laughs> And Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. So that is... They used uh, a real sandstorm in that one. <laughs> well, they put him on the outside of the Burj Khalifa. Yeah, yeah, in that, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was definitely there. They suspended yeah. IMAX cameras from the side <laughs> of the tallest building in the world. No big and deal. I, honestly, that's even more of an engineering feat than him just hanging on the side <laughs> of the building. <laughs> and they, they broke a bunch of glass on the building between the stunts and probably the actual mounting process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, and the winner is, I'm just stevening in this one. Get right in there. there. Just get your <laughs> finger in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> don't, don't say it that <laughs> way, please. <laughs> that Phrasing. Get in there. Wiggle it around a little. 1917. Woo! I mean, As it should be that. Incredibly deserved. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, come they on. They built sets for the cuts. So like, not built the cuts around the sets. Oppenheimer, right, mm-hmm. was Christopher Nolan being like, what if... I built a bomb so big, you would think it's a nuke. <laughs> Whereas what Sam Mendes from 1917 was like, what if I just recreated World War One? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, they had, I think it was like- How much like of it? A couple, it's entire. It's just the whole thing. Yeah, it was a couple yeah. miles worth of trenches. Like, oh, it was insane. insane. Ridiculous. Just insane. All right, next up we have Fix It and Post, the best use of CGI. Mm. Up first, we have The Creator. Oh, so good. Then we have Inception. Slow down over there, buddy. I, I mean, I'm, I haven't, I haven't, I can hear that crinkle. I can't see it. I can hear it. <laughs> opening it up. We have, can I finish with no. the nominee? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Steven is getting mad at me because I'm trying to. <laughs> I feel like gotta, gotta keep you, you can s- settle down in the back seat. This, this is I'll why pull Ryan, this thing over. This is why Ryan's sitting in between us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have the creator. We have Inception. We have Interstellar and we have Godzilla minus one. All right. For all the talk about CGI. And the winner for choices. Fix It in Post is... Get it out. It's <laughs> <laughs> fighting him. Godzilla minus one. Ooh, that's a good choice. The creator was also... Would have been... Oh, yeah. I kind of thought it accepted. would be the creator, but Godzilla minus one Well, no. But when you look at how much money they spent... That's true. Didn't the, spend. The return on investment. Spend, yeah. yeah. When, when they told the director, so you had a $15 million budget, and he's like, oh, I wish we did. <laughs> Wait, how much did you make this for? Really? It only cost you 10 million? Oh, that's (laughs) terrifying. All right, guys, we've had a lot of fun, but I want to, I want to slow things down a little bit because as any award show has, we need to take a minute to remember those that we've lost (laughs) along the way. First up, we have the original spoilers intended theme song. All right. It is no longer with us. I'm sorry. (laughs) Then we have scores, just scores. I tell you, all those those seven point threes gone like <laughs> tears of the rain. The math 
was just too much. Just yes. too much. Too much. Then we have the Tascam recorder replaced by the beautiful big boy over By here. a real <laughs> podcast <laughs> actual piece of equipment. An actual yes. piece of equipment meant for what we do. Yes. Next up, we had ad read sketches. We, we did those for a while. We almost we killed our editor. Yeah, yes. Yes. that yes. was me. He, yes. he joined, and then he was like, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> it's taking me longer to edit the sketch than it is the whole episode. <laughs> that's, that's a red flag. <laughs> and finally, spectacle, performance, score, plot, and entertainment scat- categories. I know. It's, it's really sad to say goodbye to the score of the score. I know. It hurt, actually. It's, it lives on in our still, hearts. It's still here every once in a while, but just as a meme. It shows up as a joke. Yes. <laughs> How would that feel? You pass away and then you're just a joke forever. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to a lot of people, actually. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually I was trying to come up with an example and I couldn't. <laughs> Please don't. Whoever's out there is like, oh, that's my dad. It's, it's Napoleon. <laughs> it oh, kind of is Napoleon. Kind of is Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. British propaganda. All right. Next up, we got Andrew. You want to take this one? Yeah, yeah. So we have, it really ties the room together. Best set design. And the nominees are The Barbie Movie, The Last of Us, one Piece Live Action, Grand Budapest Hotel, and 1917. All really good These set are design. actually, this yeah. was really this hard was for really me. This a really difficult vote, yeah. yeah. And you'll note, I have not molested this no. envelope yet. Okay, Whatever. that's the yeah. word, coitus. <laughs> Until it's time. Phrasing. That's not how that works. <laughs> Until it's time to announce what the winner is. Uh-huh. Yes. The Barbie movie. Hey! hey. All right. Okay, that was actually... A bit of a upset for me. I, really? You think yeah, so? Yeah, I think One Piece live action. I mean, personally. The, the thing is, any winner of this category I mean, they're feels all like an yeah. upset of the other Yeah, because they're all fantastic. It's such a good category. Well, yeah. with, uh, like the Barbie movie especially, though, you think of all the Barbie Land sets. Mm-hmm. There's just so much there. that look, Even like the Mattel stuff at the boardrooms and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It looked great. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a phenomenal set. What was it? They bought all the pink paint available to them at the time. Uh, yeah, and yeah. There, there was a a global pink shortage for uh, for paint for a while. <laughs> yeah. All right. So moving forward to our next category is: Did you hear that? Best sound design. Our nominees for this were Heat. Oh man, the sound of those like <laughs> the actual, oh. the, the actual oh. blanks yeah. being fired. Yeah. Oh. The Last of Us. Yeah. There's so many. Like clickers. Oh, you <laughs> okay? Don't you're oh, too good at that. that, that? Rule. <laughs> like, did you like? Are you like cracking your knuckle for that? Rule? Oh, hmm. <laughs> he's not in a. Uh, in, Do we need to put him in a in my team? Do we need to show an anime quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he's, he's an old man. It doesn't work that way anymore. It's when you need to make the sound, you just go. Yeah. That's just the sound when I move. It's fine. Just break yeah, my knees. What's this? <laughs> just break my back by turning. Uh, Who else? Also, Oppenheimer. Mm-hmm. The Mo- radiation noises. Yo, oh, man. Mobile Suit Gundam. The Witch from Mercury. Lasers, etc. Yeah. The beams of the... Yeah, they have some really good. Oh, uh, yeah. And then finally, Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah. That's, Which the, is, that's the first time we've seen it's this. Actually, up. a powerhouse mm-hmm. film, and it's the first time it's popped up. I'm actually a little surprised. Yeah. You can't yeah. do set design, though, for it. So. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah, you it's could. <laughs> Theoretically. All right, and the winner is Across the Spider Verse. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, a dark horse. I first time it shows up and boom, instant win. I mean, there was a lot of really good sound design in there, though, like the the thwips and like the, oh, the every sound. Time, and every everything. time you get a thwip out of out of a Spider Man yeah, yeah. film, oh, well, so especially good. whenever they're in the the future, the Spider the, the yeah, Spider Man HQ, yeah, twenty ninety nine or whatever. Like, man, there's some really good moments in there. All right, next up we have Thespian of the Year. This is the best performance from an actor or actress. So let's go through this. We got Ray Fiennes. Don't like look at Steven. me. Man, I'm still so mad about that. <laughs> Ralph Finnis. <laughs> Ralph Finnis. I, I looked straight at Ryan and was like, look, I know, like, I, I've already got, the first name is easy, but how do you, like, is it Finnis? Is it fine? I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Fines. It's Ray Fines. I was like, whoa, I did not have the first name. Right <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us. So yep. good. He killed it in that mm-hmm. role. Uh, Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. Looking at Andrew. Yeah, that's me. That's definitely a me problem. Cillian. <laughs> Cillian Murphy. Yeah, Cillian, Cillian Murphy. Murphy. Uh, Raul Julia from the Addams Family, who he just always, sold out always, for that always, one. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, Bella Ramsey from The Last of Us. Also mm-hmm. selling out for it. And then Joaquin Phoenix from Gladiator. All right. And the winner is for Thespian of the Year, Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us. 
Congratulations. That's right. Yes. Pedro yes. is you everybody's did a daddy Phenomenal now. job. Yeah, yeah, you did really I'm good, really dude. Good. Is he here? We invited him. I don't see him. <laughs> I think he's in the back over there. Oh, the okay. green room is over where? Where do we have the green room? <laughs> but seriously, like whenever he saves... Um, saves Ellie like right. Oh, going um, into the into the the hospital room or whatever the oh, yeah. theater. Yeah. 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 Oh, just man. Whew. So good. Good stuff. All right. So we have. Let me scroll. I was a little bit behind. Clever girl. Mm-hmm. The biggest twist or surprise in a movie or series. Yeah. The nominees are Scott Pilgrim takes off, Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. Yeah. Across the Spider Verse and Glass Onion. All right. All things containing a twist. They yes. they were got twisty with it. Wow. So the winner here is Across the Spider Verse. Ooh. Coming through again. I, I second lo- win. Like, I almost jumped out of my seat win. at the end of the, the film where I was like, because I didn't catch that it was a different oh, uh, a different a different world line oh, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Or world number. And I was like, <gasps> no. Oh. Well, yeah. it, was, it was interesting because I think we did Across and Fast X, like back to back. And both end with cliffhangers. And one of those cliffhangers, I was just like, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? And the other and one, one, I was, I was like, like yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you'll know only one of those is a nomination. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. All righty. So moving forward. Oh, this is this is brutal here. I would get this category. <laughs> this is the nominees for the sad trombone, the movie or series that let us down. Which is basically everything for Steven. I want to lead this list. It's not appearing as a nomination because we didn't review it because it let us down so hard. Yeah. Wheel of Time season two. Just Wheel of Time in general, actually. <laughs> but Wheel of Time the, season two in particular, we had it on the list for like a couple months, and then we got to it, and we were just like, we can't do this. I got through one episode. I forced I my said, way through four episodes, and Ryan's like, I've watched one. I don't know if I can do this. I'm and out, well, guys. We, we almost did an episode to where we were going to review it based on what we have seen. So <laughs> yeah. Steven had seen four episodes. Ryan had only seen one. I had seen zero, and I was gonna. We were gonna try and review it that way. Yeah, and I just just couldn't be done. Yeah. So yeah. Ugh. Anyways. They didn't make the list because we didn't do a review. That's an honorary sad, sad trombone. But what yeah. are the, what are the uh, actual? The actual nominees for this are yep. The Mandalorian Season 3, mm-hmm. Indiana Jones, and The Dial of Disappointment. Destiny. The sorry. Dial of Disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Freudian slip there. Uh, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. It was good, but it wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. The yeah. build up to it was yeah. Yeah. real like, letdown, yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's really tough whenever you have these categories and you're just like, it did disappoint me. But it's a yeah. good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, was, we we spent that whole summer doing all the mission. We're like, oh, this is these are so much better you than I remember so them being. This is going to yeah. be a banger, yeah. and then just oh, yeah. Tom Cruise let us down. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the Super Mario Brothers movie. You can make a billion dollars, but that doesn't mean, mean you're, you're good. You can also be better than the 1990s Mario. It doesn't make you a good. It was film. just basic. That yeah. was the problem. That was the problem. The creator, so much promise, mile wide and an inch been, deep. It's yeah, just pretty, uh, but there's nothing. Nothing there. And finally, Glass Onion. Yeah. I loved Knives Out. And well, like, what so, a like, disappointing follow-up. Like it, it started okay, and then it just after you get going, you're like, oh, this is... Yeah, going. this is where it's going. There's some good performances. Like It's not like it's a terrible movie. Yeah, it just I want to be clear. Quite, it's it's yeah. not like anything within these was like, oh, everything about this was bad. No. Yeah, There's like some they, good stuff in this. It's just the prom... They didn't live up to the promise. I, no. The only one I would argue that didn't really have a lot of good moments would be Indiana Jones. Yeah, that one was just... No, no, that's that's a fair, that's a very yeah. fair, yeah. valid. I was trying to be nice. That's a, that's true. All right, I'll be mean. I'll be the bad guy. I <laughs> the have winner the glasses on for sad trombone is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Disappointment. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not disappointed at all. Sorry, to see Andy. That come through, but it, it even says Dial of Destiny. It should have said Dial. It of should have said Dial of Disappointment. Yeah. All right, man. Next up, you. we have didn't see that coming movie or series that was surprisingly good. Mm. This was also a yeah. really good list. Yeah. Yes, so this, this was start, actually a tough list. It really was. Yeah, like that. That was the thing that you know to try to pull it back positive from the disappointments. Yeah. It's yeah. like things that we reviewed that were like, yeah, it's probably fine, and it actually like impressed us. Number one, R R R. We talk so a lot about good. that. If you we don't know that we like R R R, haven't seen R R R yet. You you really need to. You gotta watch it. Come on. Yeah. Uh, One Piece live action. Again, probably the also, best anime adaptation that's happened. Live, action, live, action. live action. For a TV series, absolutely. What movies, do you think for I, I have some. Well, give us an opinion. Speed Racer. Oh, I, uh, well, why, we'll get did to we, that. why did we hesitate? I don't about, know what's wrong with this <laughs> answer is going to be. <laughs> uh, okay. Godzilla minus one. 
Uh, which was re- very good. I knew oh, it was going to be solid, but I didn't expect it to and almost make me cry like, in a theater. Yeah, and <laughs> be like, like one of the best movies film. of the year. Like, yeah. yeah. Just absolutely yeah. insane. And then D&D Hat, which again, great movie. I, I thought it'd be pretty good. The trailer I, looked good, but it's a D&D movie. How can it be, you know, yeah. really well, It good. was one of those things where I was, was worried killer. that they weren't going to get it. And the first trailer dropped. I was like, oh man, they might get it. Like, oh, don't, yeah. don't, don't break my heart like this, boys. I know. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. And here we go. Didn't see that coming. Movie or series that was surprisingly good. Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! Woo! Honor Among Thieves. Let's go. D&D Hat. Just like that, D&D Hat has taken as many awards as Across the Spider-Verse. It's taken Take two. Take that, Academy Awards. <laughs> two. Two, yeah, they each have two. They each have two. <laughs> I can count. Yeah. <laughs> I have hands. I know. I just want to make it sound more dramatic. I do what I can. I will say, though, this category, we're all proud of you. <laughs> Uh, this category is really what makes doing the show pleasant right? oh, yeah. and fun is when we hit something like RRR, which was a Patreon picks poll. Shameless yeah. plug. Shameless plug. Uh, our patrons were the ones who said that we should review this. Yeah. Yeah. And you chose very you well. You chose very yeah. You did us a huge favor. Well, it always feels good to like step out of your comfort zone and watch something that like isn't Absolutely. what you typically watch. Oh, and yeah. then you love it and you're and like, it just hold on. Hits? And, and oh. that basically pushed us into mm. to watching uh, Jawan. And this coming year, we have a a couple other, you know, couple foreign films that, that aren't Japanese other, that we're going to yeah. watch. Yeah. <laughs> foreign yeah. films that aren't Japanese. Anime. You yeah. mean anime. <laughs> anime. Yeah. I, I guess Godzilla's right there, but yeah. yeah. All right. So this next category is not just for kids. We're talking about anime. Best animated movie or series. Oof, mm-hmm. This is the category where Spider-Verse may take back the lead over D&D. It prob- <laughs> we'll see. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. No so, promises. So we have Suzume, mm-hmm. so Across good. the Spider-Verse, yep. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, mm-hmm. The Boy and the Heron, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, yep, also and good. Kiki's Delivery Service. I gotta say, mm. this list of nominees... This was not hard for me. Both, both it was the stuff, Kid and the Goose. Yeah, Kid and the Goose. Kid and the Goose, nailed it. <laughs> both the new stuff and the old stuff that's mixed in here. Yeah. This is a, a stellar set of animation. It is. Right we we yeah. watched some really good... We really did. Good animated yeah. stuff. All right. right. The winner here is... For not just for kids, would y'all like to guess? Could I, it be? I could probably guess. I bet it, it is because it is across the yeah. across the Spider Verse. Across the Spider Verse absolutely deserves this. Oh it was yeah, fantastic it, it does. It yeah. does. Yeah. Even even being the the middle child of a trilogy, like it, man, it just does such a good job of expanding what was already almost a perfect movie yeah. the first time. Yeah. yeah, that was that was my big fear for it. Was the first one into the Spider Verse was so good. Yeah. And so then yeah. it's like, where do you go except down and then this yeah. was better it was right. like, like you could yeah. all you could do here is lose and then it came out and it was like okay the lowest end of the bar here is this is as good as into this but that's, mm-hmm. an, that's a crazy bar i yeah. know yeah that's wild all right what's up next steve uh so next up we have work that dolly uh, this is the coolest shooting or editing moment of the year yep and in that list of nominees we have 1917 for the whole movie. <laughs> just the whole just, thing. Just Start the to whole finish. Movie. Just the movie. You know, the movie. We have the escape from HQ in Across the Spider-Verse. Good scene. Mm-hmm. We have the hallway fight scene from Inception. Inception's first mention of all the spoilers. It so is, actually. Yeah. Christopher Nolan's at home mad right now. <laughs> He's furious. He's, He's had a multiple other films. The guy He's been like, blowing my phone up this whole the time. Guy I, is like, I have Five films in the top 50 of IMDb. It might even be six at this point. Probably I flipped six. a hallway for you, he says. <laughs> yeah. uh, the dream sequencing transitions from Paprika. First yeah, mention of that one. Satoshi that's, Khan. That's a really good film. Always good with that stuff. Yeah. And any kind of shot involving the nomad and the creator. That, that blue, that blue <laughs> just traversing the landscape. Yeah. What, a, what a visual. So cool. I All think right. I have an idea of where this is I have a good going. idea. You think so? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Let me rip through this. Just tear Snap it up, into man. a Slim Jim here. All right. <laughs> Work oh, that yeah. dolly. The winner Good is catch. 1917, the whole movie. Yeah. It deserves it. It, it definitely deserves, deserves it. it. Yeah, another award for 1917. Yeah. And what a phenomenal film, just as a whole. Like, if yeah, you Sam are watching great. This and you haven't seen it, it is an, inc- it is an intense You need to watch film. 1917. It's yep. incredible. Like, there's just not enough films out there about World War One. Okay. And now this is it. Oh, this is the big moment. Okay. This is the big moment. Why did I get this? <laughs> do you, do you, you know what the pressure? No, I'll <laughs> take it. It's mine. No, you, can't have this. you can't have it. Why did I get this? You can't take it from me. <laughs> Over my cold dead hands. <laughs> You don't want the pressure. <laughs> the oh, golden spoily award. <laughs> this is the best. Are you going to be all right? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the best of the best out of everything we reviewed this past year. 
This is a big award right here. It is. Yeah. This is prestigious. Yeah. All right. First up, we have One Piece live action. <laughs> we just we yes, need we Andrew do. to make us the acrylic plaques for this, and we just mail just it. Just we mail should mail, mail it. it. Mail it. <laughs> <laughs> they can't refuse it. It's USPS. Be on the new strange package intercepted. <laughs> All right, next up we have The Last of Us. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, 1917, already won multiple awards tonight. Yes. Could it yes. sweep? We'll find out. Well, it's not a, well, can it be a sweep if he's not nominated for everything? Semantics, unclear. <laughs> um, we have <laughs> 1970, why was I nominated for Best Animated? <laughs> <laughs> uh, RRR. It's hard to say three R's in a row, by the way. RRR. 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 Uh, Oppenheimer. <laughs> it's a descent into madness. Right <laughs> yeah. We have Godzilla Minus One. Susan May, yep, mm -hmm. and across the Spider Verse. Oh man! <laughs> All right, so this we, is a list right here. It yeah, is. this is this was honestly pretty tough for me too because I one I loved every single one of these. Yeah, in their own in their own way. Special yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they're all our beautiful children that we had no <laughs> part of making, no part in creating. <laughs> and the winner for the Golden Spoily Award. I'm so is nervous. <laughs> oh man. Godzilla minus one. Oh my god! Wow, I'm actually shy. I thought Across the Spider Verse was going to oh, take no. this. Oh I no! Mean, Godzilla minus one was such a a force, a powerhouse. Yeah, like it was. I mean, this going into a Godzilla film and coming out like, did I cry in a Godzilla? Let, movie? <laughs> let me tell you. Christopher Nolan with Oppenheimer when this mm -hmm. film came out, he sent it home and he's like, I shot a film in color. And black and white. And Godzilla Minus One was like, we we're going to re-release in black and white. Yep. Yeah, that's what they did. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you can do that! You know it's a... You know it's a fan Zack Snyder's like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, you know it's a fantastic response when a, a Japanese company is like, oh, we're only going to, you know, do like a, a limited oh, a, release. A, a week-long release, limited theaters and then in they're America. Like, Actually, it's just going to be in theaters until oh. there's no longer a demand for uh, it. Until people quit going. There are yeah. like yeah. months of it out there. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What a fantastic film. It definitely deserves it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's it's got to be the best Godzilla movie since Shin Godzilla from 2016, I would say. And then like and then it's not that probably long ago, 19, no. the, the first one from 1954. In terms of like actual like I actual love Godzilla, Godzilla yeah. movies. I, there's a ton I would like pick to be mm -hmm. in here, but like as far as like just good a good movie, it's not even you don't even have to be into Godzilla yeah. to enjoy it, you know what I mean? It's just a great film, yeah. a great period piece. A too. Really good emotional yeah. core to it. You All have for like twelve acting. million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just twelve million dollars in an Arby's coupon. <laughs> All right. So you wanna speak about something else that was made for less than twelve million dollars in an Arby's coupon. <laughs> far less. Far less. Our final category, not movie related, we asked you. You, the, 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 the voter, viewer, the listeners, the viewers, yes. the voter. What was your favorite episode of spoilers intended from the last year? Yep. And we have the full breakdown over here, but uh, yeah, my I'm, wife I'll gave us a, over. was kind enough to give us a card breakdown of this as well. A cliff notes. We're going to see what this says. I'm curious. It's opening. It is. It's, it's difficult to open these things. Oh, it's a whole, oh goodness. Oh, oh and you dropped it. You blew it. You had one job. Bye. It's gone forever. It's under you. <laughs> Just lost <laughs> it. All right, there you it go. It is a whole list. So, just ah, start okay. naming some of them off. Well, how about the? Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? Police story <laughs> sentences. How do they work? I don't know. I'm struggling right now. So, police story. Okay, very R good. RRR. That was a good episode. Napoleon. That was yeah, a, I mean, the, a really the, good the intro. Old, on yeah, that. the intro yeah. was phenomenal. I am French. I am French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, D and D hat. Yeah, that was, was a, a good one. Ooh, we've got. We had uh, Joel on that one, didn't we? We did, yeah. We, yeah. we needed a D and D expert. Yeah. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we didn't put him in the in memoriam because he didn't die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I briefly considered suggesting it. I was like, that, no, no. He's like, I didn't know. between he's, recording and release, what if something happens? I don't, I don't want to put, put that on anything. I don't want okay. To put that anywhere. No. God, the he's, connotations of that. Right? Yes. He's, <laughs> he's, I don't need any of that hanging over. He's us. doing great. He's, he's doing, doing great. Enjoying his life with, yeah. with his kids. Great and his guy. Wife. Not having to go to the movies all, every yeah. weekend. Yeah, exactly. Not having to listen to these two chuckle. Yeah, yeah. We've got a patron uh, voter in here, Chat GPT Movie Insanity. Okay, oh, that, was that, that, was, that was a good bonus episode. episode. Bonus episode. Yeah. Yeah. That, that by itself was worth a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, seriously, like the, the Chat GPT episodes that we've done so far have just gone off the rails so much. <laughs> it's so <laughs> much fun. They're, and they're just way too much fun. Oh, yeah. man. A Clue. Clue was great. It was mm -hmm. a fun episode. Uh, Barbenheimer. 
That was another good that episode. Was a marathon I think, I think it was of an just episode. the format of the, the episode. The format. We crammed yeah. both of them into yeah. one episode. That was, yeah. When I went back and was looking at the actual layout of like the timestamps, I was like, man, why is this so long? Oh, yeah, we did both of these together. Yeah, and, yeah when I was doing graphics for, mm -hmm. um, for a lot of stuff, like updating things for YouTube and whatever, mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, yeah, we did just kind of combine both just of them. Just do a two hour yeah. episode. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the, all of those that I just listed each got one vote. Mm hmm. Next up with more than one vote, we have one star reviews. Okay. Well, okay. Which eighty of them, they're all they're, pretty they're all great. Ridiculous. They are ridiculous. They are and I have to say, we we slogged through some horrible people say horrible things on the internet. They <laughs> I don't really know do. If you yeah, know. we have to filter out by um hate comments <laughs> and, <laughs> like, and other and that's after I hate, hate comments filtered sexism, out some of the worst stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's some, all sorts of terrible stuff. People spew. Oh. Uh getting far more than one vote. Mission Impossible 2. Yes. Budget, budget Doves. Budget Doves. <laughs> what a fantastic. That, that, that was, was one of my favorite episodes. That was probably one of the, the episodes where we finished. I took the headset off and we sat there. For, we were like, that was so much fun. <laughs> now yeah, this is podcasting. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Never let him forget. Uh, Godzilla Minus One also received multiple votes. Uh, nice. It received Another. three total, which was 8% yeah. well, of the that's, that's where I was yeah. going with. It's a good episode. And finally, the winner oh. from our voters of their favorite episode, all of them. Aww. We love, thank you. That's Aww. super appreciate that's, that's, that's so nice. I looked at this list and I was we, like, We actually oh, this haven't is seen so... this list before. No, yeah. yeah. We, which, we uh, didn't look at any of these uh, awards. Once we put the form out there and y'all started voting... We didn't check the result as yes. it went. Stephen yeah. had his wife go through and do yep. all the tabulating. As a, as a and neutral everything. party to go through yeah. and, and pull out each thing. She didn't tell me. The only thing was, you know, her the way our office is set up, right? Her desk is here, my desk is here, and I'm trying to just play a game and not pay attention. <laughs> and behind me, I hear, oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. <laughs> what? I was like, okay, you can't do you this kind of horse blinders on the background yeah. here. Because every time you're like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Like, she's like, Oh wow! And I turn around. And she's just hunched over, writing something down. Like I don't, I can't wait. <laughs> what's happening? I don't know what's going on. Well, seriously, thank you for you know obviously voting yeah. and I mean, uh, be, being here with thanks us. Thanks for being a part of this magical this night. Yeah, you know. Let's also let's thank our patrons one more time. Let's let's go back through the list. Oh, you want to go back? You want to go through the list without one them? More time. None of this would be possible. We, we These definitely would not very have very cheap, a, tiny envelopes. <laughs> would not have been able to never I mean, our, to that. You know our our t shirts. Our t shirts. Yeah. Well, can I we expense these? <laughs> can, I, maybe I don't. I know. I think we can set we? a limit. You can only go so high. I'm pretty sure yours is above the limit. Mine was like uh, I almost cut off the sleeves like halfway. You know, you should have halfway yeah. through the episode. You're just go full hoax. But yeah, so big thanks to our patrons. Indeed, a huge thank you and a giant shout out to Daniel, Finn, T. McCaleb, Jason, Mark, Travis, Andy, Taylor, Grant, Robert, Sue, Holly, Ken, Baron, Nick, Brian, Christian, Brad, Colin, Andrew, Ethan, T. Mac, Ryan. Nick again. Second Nick. Second Nick. C, 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 K, or first Nick. Should he be first Nick? I think he is actually first Nick, technically. <laughs> okay. But either way. Uh, Are you going like through through most going, recent yes, it is, yes. <laughs> First or at the top, or most recent at the top. Yeah. Uh, Lady Palatina, Scott, Tyndall, Matthew, and Allison. Huge, huge An ever-growing list, and we are super appreciative of all of you. Always. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Well, that sounds about like all the time we've got. So as always, mm -hmm. follow us on social. Leave us a review wherever you're listening now or watching on YouTube. Or on YouTube. Hey. And subscribe. Drop, drop, Smash that bell. Drop us a comment. Yeah. I want to hear do, yeah. what winner happened that you're upset about. What should have won yeah. one of these categories? Tell us. You can tell us on Discord. You can yeah. join the Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Discord. Or on socials. Or yeah. on socials. Yeah. All right. And you know, share, the, share with a friend. If you like this, <laughs> share it. All right. Until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Andrew. And I'm Steven. And every spoiler award, spoily award, was intended. <laughs> there it is. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs>